So whether you're a veteran at writing code or if you're just kind of new to it, um, it's nice to be able to, like sometimes you're, you'll code, you know, if I go over here, oops, if I go over here and I start coding, right? If I say I want a paragraph and I want to say hello or hi or whatever in here, yeah, that works great. Uh, and you see hello pop up on the screen over here. Um, but what if I want to do something a little more complicated, like maybe put in a table or an image or video, blah, 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 all the different things you can do on a website. Um, and I forget, like I don't know how or I'm having a problem. Sometimes it's nice to be able to just go over here in the visual area and do whatever it is you want to do. Just as an example, let's say um, I wanted to put an image in. It would be great if you could do it in code, and we can do that by typing IMG and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then our image would appear over here. But I can also go to the visual area, and I can say insert image. And then I can say, okay, here's a picture of a, the leaves, and I can describe the image as leaves, and I can maybe change the dimensions if I want to, like that. And boom, it's done. And what you'll notice is over here, it actually makes the code for you. So I want you guys to learn about HTML code, but I'm also well aware that it's challenging at first. So if you're having some trouble coding, you can go in here to the site, which I oh, I messed it up. It's and I'll I'll put that link on D2L, but. Uh, you can go here and you can kind of put your stuff in here. So when you're making, you know, your list, for example, if I make a list of Mr. Swain's favorite bands or something like that, I can list all my my bands. So I can say Foo Fighters and, uh, and I wanted it to be a, an unordered list. So if I click that button right there, I get an unordered list and I get Led Zeppelin and I can put in all my bands Oops. and so on. And blah 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 and look over here the code is actually being made so as long as you're looking over here and you're kind of going okay well I see the link between what's happening over here and what's happening over here I'm okay with that then what you can do is you can say okay well here's the code that made that list and you gotta make sure you get it all and you can copy that and then you can go back to your NetBeans assignment wherever it is you're making your your website excuse me and you can go into the body and you can just paste that text. So you can kind of think of this as like, you know, a little playground where you can go here and you can test stuff out. If you're having a hard time, you can do stuff in the visual area, see the code it makes, and then you can just go and paste it into your NetBeans um, program like that. And when I save it in NetBeans and go to visual, then you should, with any luck, yeah, look, there's my list and I got everything. So it should look the same. So I would like you to put it all in NetBeans eventually, but feel free to use this as a resource because I think it's really going to help you when you get frustrated. And, and trust me, by the way, every single programmer in the world gets frustrated when they can't figure out how to do something. But that will, uh, you know, the more you learn, the more you do it, the more that, that feeling will stop. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps.